Hey guys, welcome. In this particular video, we will be discussing about creation of Ramel and uh, how to uh, use uh, different policies. Uh, so we will be going with that particular uh, agenda with today's video. So let's first uh, log in to AnyPoint platform. So this is AnyPointMinusoft.com and in case you don't have um, your credentials ready so what you need to go do you have to just log into this anypointmilsoft.com slash login and you have to look for this sign up page so once you uh, check on this sign up page uh, you need to provide certain uh, details like uh, uh, your full name email id phone number company phone number company can be anything but it should be a uh, logically correct not exactly correct so and with the uh, and uh, it creates a trial version for some amount of time uh, in future but uh, uh, as soon as your uh, credential get expired uh, you can create this uh, using the same set of email id just you have to play around with the uh, username uh, which is uh, this one so this username you have to pick the next one if you are playing around with the trial version okay so having said that uh, I will assume like you already have a working endpoint platform already um, provisioned on your name. So after that, uh, you can directly use your um, credentials to log in into this platform. I'm just signing in. So just going through the basics, it is having design center to create your API specifications. It is having access management, uh, API manager to manage all the APIs, policies, SLA traffic and alert setup. Runtime manager is for all the uh, means of base flows uh, which can be deployed. Visualizer is to identify the application network. Monitoring is for alert mechanism and secret is in case of you are maintaining some keys, uh, certificates uh, for SSL communication. Exchange uh, is for sharing and discovering the reusable APIs, connectors, templates, examples, different kinds of APIs and already some pre-created uh, uh, samples which are being provided by uh, Millsoft directly. So without any further ado, let me start with the uh, design center. So I will click on start designing. Okay, and it will uh, prompt you to this particular page or or if you create or click on this create new, it will give two different options create new application it will create a similar workflow type of um, uh, emule application which we used to create using anypoint studio but uh, in this particular uh, video we will be covering the ramble part so i will go with the second that is create api specification i will click on this and it gives two different options either text editor or visual editor so it depends if if you are having uh, uh, a uh, like pre uh, knowledge of how to write the ramel syntax then i will suggest you to go with text editor as it is more handy but if you are fairly novice to um, ramel specification uh, it's better to go with visual editor so having said that uh, let's try to change the things and i will use this visual editor for now and i will name it something like uh, player or something cricket team okay and i will create on create a specification let's see uh, how it goes so it's loading the things uh, it should be so now uh, we have to see this is very uh, uh, like uh, it is very uh, easy to uh, follow this thing so in the title you you need to give the name of your api that is it could be the cricket team version i will put 1.0 now you can see in parallel on right hand side it is getting updated okay now this will be http media type i will put as application json base url i will uh, keep it as blank in description i would like to put to uh, in bold like uh, this API specification is to derive player specific 
details okay that's enough and I don't want it to be secured so I will just go with the basic one and what else uh, let me add some documentation a uh, new item could be like get player details I will put uh, something like this um, player details to be fetched using get operation okay so this is done I will remove this this uh, second one this is accidentally being added now what I will do I will click on this resource type so if you click on plus it will come up to add resource and I will go with uh, get operation in place of uh, this one I will put to uh, player details and uh, I will put to something like uh, in the query parameter I want to add uh, the player name okay and it is a mandatory one and I want it and within the summary uh, player name that should be okay let me try to see if I can put some example the example could be like Mahendra uh, Singh Dhoni okay default should be something at least we should have something so Sachin Tendulkar okay pattern I want minimum length to be 1 maximum length could be 100 okay name of the player of which details need to be fetched okay so this should be fine now I will go for response I will add a new response 200 okay uh, and I will add like uh, this is this is the response for the search being requested I will copy this, this thing very quickly and want to put in so that should be the thing now I want to put uh, now I want to put some uh, body details application JSON and this should be fine I will go with add details and I will go to edit and I'm having something already handy with me so I will try to use that okay so this is pretty much I will put something like sample response okay so that should be fine I am just looking for the save option but uh, you know it automatically gets it so that's the good thing I think we are pretty much good over here so um, I see you, you can see this mocking service uh, um, tab is there right so if we enable this there will be some change base URI gets automatic populated right so we will go by that because we want to test it as well right so I will click on try it so it is by default taking the Sachin Tendulkar as a um, player name. I will click on send. So here you can see uh, because we have configured Mahindra Singh Dhoni details, it is coming up like that. Now 
this is a mandatory field right so if you are not passing it it, it will error out instead of that if you pass uh, a then it will allow and it will send the same uh, response structure so having said that uh, is there any way out of this as well like uh, we can test it yes you have to just copy paste this thing and go to your uh, postman and put it over here and click on send button so you can see the response coming up uh, very fine and even the negative you can check okay so something minimum one actual zero okay so that is fine bad request that is okay so this is being uh, this is being done so i would just click so it doesn't matter so uh, i will click on publish to exchange so that this particular api specification is now exposed to the exchange level and then we will see some more details So that is fine. You can see more option as well, like cricket, team asset ID, and the you know, business group. So I will publish to exchange. <clears throat> so this entire um, anypenmilsoft.com is running in the back uh, on the uh, AWS EC2 instance. So if you are just curious about it, like how it look like. Uh, we can we can have a uh, different uh, session for that as well i have already included one uh, aws ec2 introduction session in one of my previous videos so you can cross check uh, over there like how to integrate mule with aws ec2 so um, this is now coming up as uh, rest api now is there any way we can test it again so if you click over here and just expand this go to get this is a mocking service it is taking and i will click on send it will give us the positive scenario but this is available only on your uh, personal level it is not available onto the external uh, users so there is a way to do that uh, go to public mark this this is the latest version you can mark it as save so now it is being published and uh, how to cross check it uh, you have to go to asset list, public portal. So here you can see the cricket team. And so go to the summary. Also uh, see all these things are coming up in a very nice and clean manner, right? So clear details fetch do using get operations. It's always good to give uh, as explanatory uh, details as possible. It will make uh, more user interaction, and uh, you can you can sell out your API to the different development teams, and they will be encouraged to use it as well. Okay, so having said that, uh, what I am going to do now, um, I will go to the design center once again and try to look for the cricket team api it is taking some time to uh, load the same page again so here you can see uh, raml os and try it right so os uh, tab will just convert the uh, raml uh, into the os version uh, so there is, uh, if your organization demands for OS 2.0 or 3.0, uh, you can you can uh, have it from here. So this is 3.0, that is the latest version as well. And there are some uh, um, online uh, links are also available which can convert uh, RAML to OS 3.0 or 2.0 as per the requirement. I will paste those details in our uh, video description very soon. So, having said that, uh, I will go to the RAML and click on download. So, it has downloaded this. I will open my uh, Anypoint Studio. Uh, I will minimize with this thing. I will minimize this thing as well. I will right click, go to the new new project. And I will click over here from exchange. I will search for cricket. 
it will be headed I will click on finish so I will put um, this thing as cricket team app I am not going to change much in this um, um, scaffold uh, framework so what it has done it has converted that ramble design into a uh, very beautiful uh, wheels of flow it starts with the main and from here it will get the uh, request and after that it will route to the different uh, configurations so it will eventually go to this one because we have only one uh, uh, um, one operation being called so I am going to add some loggers before and after it so I will just put some random request received at app response sent by app so hash and it will be the payload I will save it quickly so this is pretty much of it and let's right click and try to run this thing this is the uh, RML which we are trying to uh, run from our Anypoint Studio okay so what I will do I will put to uh, HTTP localhost and maybe API and then what was the name it was the player details and player name okay I will go till here I will paste it here double slash I don't want I will put something like something like this it is deployed I will click on send so you got the response back and request app received at app response sent by app so all all is good okay 